Hello everyone, I'm Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. Now as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will discuss all the basic and fundamental properties of a sphere and all the important formulas related to a sphere. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. Now the three dimensional shape that you can see over here is a sphere. Now over here you can see that there are three axes x, y and z and the intersection point of these three axes is called as the center of the sphere. The definition of a sphere is as follows. A sphere is a solid generated by the revolution of a semicircle about its diameter. So basically what the definition means that if we have a semicircle like this and if we revolve it about its diameter in this direction or in this direction then we get a sphere. If I take the center of the sphere as C then the distance between C and any point that lies on the boundary of the sphere is called as the radius of the sphere and it is generally denoted by the small letter r. The straight line that connects two different points on the boundary of the sphere and that passes through the center of the sphere is called as the diameter of the sphere. Now diameter of a sphere is generally represented by the small letter d and it is equivalent to twice of r. Now this is because if the distance between this point and center is r and the distance between center and this point is also r, then r plus r is equal to 2r. That implies that the diameter of a sphere is equal to twice of r. Now there are some other basic properties that define a sphere and they are as follows. A sphere has no edges or vertices. Now you can clearly see that by yourself that a sphere cannot have any edge or vertices because it is a completely round shape. Second property is that sphere has infinite planes of symmetry. Now you can clearly see that if I draw a plane that passes through the center of the sphere, then it will divide the sphere into two equal parts. This is the first part and this is the second part. So I can make infinite number of such planes and that will still divide the sphere into two equal halves. Thus a sphere has infinite number of planes of symmetry. Now moving on to the surface area of the sphere. The surface area of the sphere is simply that area that is covered when the sphere is rolled along a surface. Now the value of the surface area of the sphere comes out to be 4 pi r square and 4 pi r square can also be written as pi d square. Now this is because d is equal to twice of r and d square is equal to 4 r square. So 4 r square can be replaced with d square. So 4 pi r square is equivalent to pi d square. Now every three dimensional figure has an additional property by which it can hold some amount of liquid or fluid inside it and that property is known as the volume of that respective three dimensional figure. Now the volume of a sphere comes out to be 4 by 3 pi r cube. Now 4 by 3 pi r cube can also be written as pi by 6 d cube. Now this is because if I take d as 2 r then d cube is equal to 8 r cube. Now over here we have only 4 r cube so I can multiply and divide both the numerator and denominator by 2 and I will get 8 r cube in the numerator which is equal to d cube. Thus I can say that the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube or pi by 6 d cube. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve it out as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASIN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASIN Academy.